What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Welcome to another vlog. Today is um, and it's Vlogmas Day Vlogmas. 7. And it's Tom, what we're going to do today? Today we're going to surprise the kids and we're going to read them a novelty story, you know, Tell about the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now, if you don't know who he's talking about, well, give them, let them know who you're talking about. Well,. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, the one who died on the cross for you and for me so that we could have a second chance to go and to be with him forever and ever. You know, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the one that did everything he needed to do for you and for me and for everybody in the world. That's how much he loves you, that he died for you. Amen. All right, you guys. And also, a real quick thing. Um, I bought this book at Ross for four ninety nine. Way worth $5. Highly recommend to go to Ross. They got good, good Christian books for parents, for adults, for kids, for all types of people. Ross is your store. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> Long ago, in a town called Nazareth, there lived a carpenter named Joseph and his wife, Mary. Joseph worked all day long in his workshop while Mary looked after their little house. There's Joseph and there's Mary and there's their little house. One day, a beautiful bright light filled Mary's and Joseph's home. It was the angel Gabriel who had come to tell Mary she was going to have a special baby. There's the angel and there's Mary. Angel Gabriel told Mary that baby boy will be the son of God and that Mary must name him Jesus. Whoa. That's what the angel said. Mary and Joseph were overjoyed and looked forward to the birth of their baby. Months later, they made the long journey to the town of Bethlehem. They set off over the hills of Galilee with Mary riding on the back of a donkey. There's Mary, there's Joseph, and there's the donkey. You guys see that? When Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem, they found that there were no rooms left to stay in. A kind innkeeper saw how tired Mary and he offered them his stable for the night. He saw how tired there she was, so he said, I offer you my stable. My stable is where the animals sleep. But that's all he had, so that's all he could offer, and they took it. Something Mommy. is better than nothing. <laughs> the stable was warm and dry and full of friendly animals. Joseph made a bed of straw for Mary, and they set her down to sleep. It was in the stable that Jesus was born. Mary and Joseph wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger. There he is, there's baby Jesus in the manger, resting nice, comfortable, warm. As the animals came to worship Jesus, a bright star settled over the stable. 
so they can see the bright light over the stable, you know, outside, over, just outside appearing up of, high on the hills outside of Bethlehem, three shepherds were watching their flock. Suddenly an angel appeared in the sky. So here are the three shepherds and here's the angel that appeared to them. Whoa! An angel came, man. What do you guys do? Do not be afraid, the angel said. The Son of God has been born. Whoa. They saw the angel and they got scared and the first thing the angel said, don't be afraid. I come to tell you that the Son of God has been born. Far away in the east, three wise men saw the bright stars shining in the sky. They had read in the ancient scrolls that when a new star appeared, it meant there was a great new king. Whoa. So there was never this star ever before. Now they see this new star because they study the stars. Now they see this new star and they have read that when this new star appears, that means that a new king, great king, has been born. The wise men journeyed all through the night, following the star across the desert. It led them to the stable in Bethlehem where Jesus had been born. So they follow the light. They're like, man, this light is so bright. I feel like I could see it. I feel like I could follow it. So they did that, man. They followed it. It's like looking up and going to the star, man. And they see it. They're like, man, let's go. Let's get it. The wise men gave Jesus gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, while the shepherds promised to spread the word of Jesus' birth far, far, and wide. They all worshipped, for the Son of God was born. Whoa. Someone say hallelujah. Say it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For now, he is our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. Wow, what a beautiful All hell, story. The new king has been born. Follow Mary and Joseph on their new journey over the hills of Galilee to the town of Bethlehem to celebrate the beautiful birth of Jesus. Come together and journey with us on this great journey. Wow, good story. Yeah. You guys you want to talk about the story? Um, well. A big, if a big star appears, like they measure all the stars, but they've never seen a bit like a, a big bright star before, so they wouldn't follow it. Yeah, would you follow it? Yeah, I would. I would want to see it, see how close we can get. Hey, what are you doing? He's looking for the star. Are you looking for the star? Is there a star over there? Is there a star? No. Better let me know if there's a star. No. Well, I like that. It shows, you know, that something is better than nothing. You know? Just because they did not get a room, you know, in the town where they had got to, didn't mean that they were going to refuse the offer that the good man gave them, you, you know, which was to stay in the stable, you know. Yeah, they accepted anything. They didn't want to stay there. Oh Something God. is better than nothing, but they were grateful for it, you know. But if they could choose between the room and that, well, of course, the room. But something is better than nothing. They chose it. They said, but, thank you very much. But you know what? I would have chose if I was Mary. I would have chosen the stable anyways. You know why? Because I would have liked my privacy. You know, instead of being in an inn where lots of people are and it's so crowded, and I'm about to have a baby. I'm in pain. I don't want anybody near me. You know, or listening or hearing and watching. 
you know so like everything were per worked out perfectly I maybe at that time it was like kind of stressful for them you know like oh like what's gonna happen i'm gonna have my baby but everything worked out perfectly at the end you know so you no, know, everything always will work out perfectly for you know for whatever situation you're going through um just trust and believe in god you know like i know they trusted god in their plan obviously and everything worked out perfect i would have preferred the stable before any end you know like more privacy more quietness more it was more of just them you know i thought that was so beautiful you know well maybe i don't even know how the situation looked but i don't even know how the staple looked but i'm saying now i would have chosen the staple i mean as myself you know okay the boys are gonna end in prayer go ahead let's pray thank you Heavenly father my lord jesus and the holy spirit thank you for the day of today thank you for another day that tomorrow that you have set for us Thank you for our lives. Thank you for our breath of every day that we take, my Lord Jesus. Thank you for our healthy bodies. Help us, my Lord Jesus, to get closer to you every day. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, All right you guys. That is the end of today's vlog. So Vlogma 7. Tell them what's up, Max. What's up? So, see you. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. But tell them to like and subscribe. Come on. I like that subscribe and get a big, big, big stomach. Yeah. George, you want to say anything? Yeah. Uh. See you guys on the next one. You know, don't forget to like, subscribe. <laughs> These kids are ready for bedtime, huh? Let's go. All right. You guys, if you don't know this story, now you know. And I hope, you know, that this story uh, means something to you guys like it means something to us. All right. Good night. Peace out. Peace out.